Howdy folks, Jake here with Banjo Ben once again, and today we've got something uh, to talk about that's probably my most asked, well, no probably about it, it definitely is my most asked question, and that's pertaining to blue chip picks, specifically the thumb picks, and uh, what are the differences between the ones we carry, and we pretty much have the whole line here today. Um, so what are the differences, how do I know which one's right for me, and most importantly, um, how do I know which size to get? So, um, picks are such a personal preference. It's hard to give an answer to that, but what I'm going to try to do is objectively show you the differences between them and you can make some comparisons to your own finger size, the current pick you use, what you think you would like and uh, make a good educated decision based on that. So, uh, here we have the four different types. Okay. And now the different types come in different sizes. Uh, some of them come in more sizes than others. For example, the Russ Carson signature is only available in a large at this present time. So, um, we have the, the JD Crow model. We've got that in small, medium, and large. We have the Russ Carson model in large. We have the standard one L and one M. This was the, the first offering from blue chip and that's in medium and large. And then we have the Rezo one L and one M. So let's start over on this side real quick. Um, the biggest difference between these two, um, now first of all, let me back up. As far as the sizes go, like all the larges, the band sizes, where how they would fit your thumb are gonna be the same. So like all larges will fit my thumb the same. Uh, it's just the blade style at that point that makes the differences in the models. So uh, between these two, uh, this is true for both the medium or the large, the biggest difference between them is that the standard pick has a slightly thinner blade. I don't know if you can get where you can see that. So the 1M and 1L has like about a 1.25 millimeter or somewhere in there uh, blade. And the Rezo model has a thicker blade, about a 1.5 mil. And that's because, you know, for, for resonator guitar, dobro players, uh, for, for really digging into those heavy bass strings, it's just more durable. But that being the case, some banjo players like the heavier pick, you know, so that doesn't mean it's only for resonator guitar players. Um, okay, now let's, let's move along. So since we have the same basic blade profile, basically, like I said, this one's a little beefier on the Rezo, but basically they're pretty similar, just the thickness. Um, moving on, let's compare these two. So the, the Russ Carson, uh, it's a little different. Uh, it's gonna be the same thickness as our standard 1L or whatever, uh, if you can see that there. So it's gonna be about the same thickness, but where it's gonna differ, here I'll wear them like this so you can see them side by side, is the blade profile is drastically different. It comes out longer, it has more of a sweep to it, and it also, what I notice whenever I wear it, it sits back, so it comes back uh, further on my thumb by just a little bit than say like uh, the standard or the the JD Crow. So let's compare the JD Crow um, to the Russ Carson here. You can see the JD Crow out of the whole bunch has the shortest kind of roundest blade. So if that's something you notice that you like in using your normal thumb picks, if you find you like a pick with a slightly shorter slightly rounder blade, the JD Crow is the one you want to go with. If you like a pick with a uh, more traditional blade profile, then the uh, Russ Carson is one you want to go with. So let's compare those two to, to normal picks real quick. And we'll get into size in just a minute. So we're going to take the Russ Carson and the JD Crow. Uh, the Russ Carson would be a little more similar in like blade length and profile to something like your, your Golden Gates, your multicolors, it's kind of got that sweep going on, got a longer blade. Whereas like the JD Crow here would be more similar to the National, little shorter, little rounder blade, or even something like uh, one of these uh, Fred Kelly style picks, the slick pick. Um, and, and these are just some, uh, um, some common offerings I'm showing you for by way of comparison. Uh, this isn't every thumb pick that we carry. These are just some of the better sellers, the more common shapes and sizes, so you can see. Okay, so now that we've kind of discussed the differences, uh, and I didn't compare the JD to the standard, uh, so let's do that real quick. 
So here's the JD versus the standard. I'll put both of those kind of on. Um, you can see there's less difference between a JD and a standard than there is between a JD and a Russ Carson. Um, but it still yet is a little shorter and a little more blunt of a blade than the standard pick, okay? So you just gotta kind of find which one uh, you think would be, you know, hopefully uh, you've experimented a little with your basic pick offerings. You know, you've gotten an assortment of picks here or there that you kind of understand which one you like. So let's get on to sizing these things. This is the tricky part. Um, to size a blue chip pick, I would say whatever pick you're using now and are comfortable with based on its size should basically be the size you go for in a blue chip. For example, if you're using a large, like if I like this Golden Gate large, which I do, if that fits my thumb the best, I wanna stick with the large. The large and the blue chip will fit my thumb the best also. If I like the medium Golden Gate, the, the medium uh, blue chip is gonna fit almost just like that. And if I like the small Golden Gate, as far as band size, the small blue chip will fit pretty much just like that, okay? Um, give or take. I mean, uh, actually to me, the, uh, the blue chip is more comfortable because the way the uh, band is kinda swept in and out uh, and it's it's very rigid. It's with that steel band and the type of material that the pick is. It just doesn't move. It doesn't loosen up. It doesn't slip around on your thumb, which is a really nice feature. Now there are some exceptions to this rule. For example, if you use the national thumb pick, to me a national medium is very comfortable. Like if you if you if you're used to a national medium, it's very comfortable for me. And I use a large blue chip. So not all brands of picks. Like I said, if you're with the Golden Gates, I would stick with the, the size you're used to. If you're in the Nationals, both a medium and a large fit very similarly. The large just goes a little bit further back on my thumb, but I can wear either of those, and I would still want the large blue chip. So uh, about the best I can do here, I'm going to show you guys just using a ruler. I guess I could use a micrometer or something, but I figure most of you won't have that. Um, so I'm just going to use a common ruler. We're going to measure a couple critical dimensions in my thumb. And, uh, you know, if push comes to shove, if, if you really don't know uh, what else to do, you can at least take some measurements, compare it to mine, and see what's going to probably work best for you. Now, the tricky part with this is everyone's thumb is shaped different. You can see mine's wide at the knuckle and tapers, which is probably pretty common, I would think. I don't think I have any kind of strange looking thumb per se. I don't know, it's a little cobra out there at the knuckle, but um, where I like to measure at, where the pick fits me best is if it's centered right over my fingernail cuticle there where the nail runs into the, runs under the skin. So that I'll kind of use that as a line for my measurement. So for my width, if I get it right to the very end, Looks like the width of my thumb is about seven eighths of an inch. Okay, about seven eighths. And the thickness of my thumb, if I measure in the same place using the line on my fingernail as a kind of a centering point, I'm about a half inch thick on my thumb at that, at that spot. And like I said, we're just using that as some kind of point of reference. Uh, <clears throat> so seven eighths wide, half inch thick. If you're close to that, the large is gonna fit you like a glove. It's gonna be just perfect. Now that being the case, there are personal preferences. Like I can wear a medium, it just doesn't come back on my thumb to the point where I'm, I'm used to feeling the blade. So like if you like to feel the blade run out right to the end of your thumb, some people like that. I prefer the blade to set a little farther back. But if you like it to come right out to the end of your thumb, and you've got the same thumb size as me, the, the medium will work fine for you. It'll, it'll stay put and everything. Um, now, well, I actually, I'll tell you what, let's use my wife, she's working the camera here. So everyone say hi to Michelle. <laughs> and let's use her thumb for a second. Let's, let's just see what's gonna fit her because we have a lot of ladies that try this kind of thing out. So let's use your, your line up here. Okay, so it looks like her thumb is about three quarters of an inch wide and turn it on side. It might be hard for you to get this in the camera while I do it, but I'll tell. Three eighths of an inch thick in that one dimension. Um, 
So three quarters to three eighths. Let's see which one fits you best. Try on the small. And does that kind of center right up on this cuticle line that I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. So a small would fit her. So three quarters to three eighths thick. Um, so anyway, that's kind of a, hopefully that gives you some idea. That's kind of an oversimplification, but uh, we kind of get a relativity, a point, a point of relativity for size, uh, style differences. Uh, we've compared them to some of the more common picks. Now, the last thing, you might ask what makes a blue chip so special. Uh, it's just the tone of it, and it's the feel of it. When you put it on, it's locked in place. Uh, it just, it's perfection. I mean, you, you, I've never worn a thumb pick that, that feels any better than a blue chip. And whenever you, you strike the string with it, you get this lightning fast attack, and it just, it sounds like it's just zapping the string. It just sounds like there's so much energy being released through the pick. And it's effortless. It's buttery smooth. It's some super, super um, high-tech plastic that seems to last forever. And, you know, I don't really know all the particulars on it. It's like graphite injected, and they use it to line space shuttles during re-entry or something like that. You know, I don't really know all the details. But uh, I do know that they're, they're about the best picks money can buy. And uh, for those of you, you know, maybe interested in the flat picks, I'll probably do a video on that here uh, in the next week or so as well. So hopefully that gives you all an idea and that answers some questions. Uh, we'll probably take this video and go ahead and post it on every one of the uh, pick pages as well. So uh, people can, you all can check that out there and uh, buy with a little more confidence. Know that you're getting the right thing. So like always, folks, I hope that answers some questions. We really appreciate you all. Thanks for watching.